Okay, guys, let's take on the World Circuit, where we fight Aaron Ryan. I actually prefer the Wii version of Aaron Ryan more than this version, because he's a lot more energetic and a lot more fun to fight. But this one's not too bad. Basically, in this version, yeah, just fight him normally, build up, you know, build up your super meter. Because, uh, you notice he's really not taking that much damage from hits. Hit, but super punches, oh geez, they take off a lot. But, I, I, yet to really dodge that, because I don't know what to do. He kind of, you kind of, like, I think you gotta dodge at, like, the very last second, and that way he's gone by the time you move. But I really don't know how. Oh, this is basically the reverse of Piston Hurricane. And then he has an uppercut at the end of it that you gotta duck out of the way of it. And sometimes he jumps right back into it after you hit him. So you gotta be really careful of that. And also he swaps the from low high to high low on the second round of it. So you gotta be careful of that. His grab always seems to get me, though. His grab always seems to get me. You, I can dodge the up you can actually dodge the uppercut if you're quick. So you can get gra you get grabbed, you know, does his little thing. And then you quick dodge the last second to get out of the way of the uppercut, which I don't think I do here, I don't remember. He also kinda of drains your health with that grab too, so it kinda of lessens the impact of the super punch. And it also completely kills your super punch meter. I'm pretty sure that's the way to dodge it, because they wouldn't have an undodgeable move in there, but still, he's kind of annoying. Actually, no, he's very annoying. Bum, 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 pow, bum, 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 pow, okay, yeah, I'm running out of things to talk about with this guy. He has some big nose or what, jeez. Yeah, he's almost, oh, wow, I thought he was dead. And he, now he grabs me and tries to uppercut, and now I think I finished. Either I finish him off or he kills me. One of the two. I forget what happens. I forget if this is one of the guys I've actually had to refight. I should have tested the length of this video. It looks like it might be about 10 minutes again. It looks like it might be a little bit over again. I probably should have done some editing and. Oh, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I've never really been one for forethought. Yeah, I really haven't been one. Never was one for forethought. But, um... Do I lose, did I lose him? I can't remember if I lost him on camera or not. Because it was such a close fight. I'll, let, I'll, be, I'll be quiet and let you guys kind of bask in the closeness of this fight. It should be over soon anyway. Yeah, this is where I get smart. And stop using the super punch until it, I know it's going to kill him. Because using it there would have killed me. And I think he's down for the count. Yep, he's down for the count. Good. And now, oh my god, it's actually someone more gay than Don Flamenco. Could it be? Honestly, I don't know what they were going for with this character. I think they were going for one of those uh, Japanese theaters that have males playing both roles. I think that might have been what they were shooting for. Or they had a female character in mind who just scrapped it midway through and kind of left the makeup and stuff. Very annoying fight. You, you can play aggressively. Oh god. M the Mirage Dance. High, high, high uppercut is basically the. And when does the hair attack, you're gonna wanna dodge left and then duck. Something I never do while fighting him. For some reason, I can never get out of the way of the hair attack. Also, you can interrupt that shadowy move. Whatever that illusion thingy is. I know I lost this guy quite a few times. I'm almost positive I lost this guy a lot while recording. But you can actually dodge the shadow move. I want dodge. You can uh, interrupt. If you do a well-timed punch somewhere along the line, I'm not sure where that... Oh, yeah, that's where, that's where he gets me. This is freaking hair. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I get it on video. 
And I know I don't beat him on this recording. I know I don't beat him on this run. Wow, we're already at the five minute mark. Yeah, and that's where our load state. Um, not much to say about this guy, really, though. He's just really annoying. Yeah, the, the simple punches are pretty easy to dodge and pretty easy to tell. He also has got a pretty good interrupt to the face there. That if you can take advantage of it, it will work wonders for you. The question being, can you take advantage of it if he doesn't move enough times? Yeah, that hop hop is a clear tell for the high, high, high uppercut. And the hair move that I can never dodge. Back when I used to play this a lot, I was pretty much always dodge that. It was always the other moves that got me, I think. Yeah. Just keep, keep at it. Come on. You can do it. The thing is, the tell for the hair move and that rush, that rush hook are very similar. So sometimes it kind of throws you off. You gotta watch and see if his hair kind of falls off to the side. And his hair attack is powerful, too. It's surprising. It hurts a lot, surprisingly. I think it's actually one of the strongest moves he has. Why do I always dodge right there? How? How? I don't think I beat him on this run, so I might skip ahead to the run where I do beat him. Yeah, you know what? Let me do that, because we're running out of time. We don't have time to watch me get pummeled by him, so just give me two seconds. I'll skip to, I'll skip ahead to the match where I actually managed to take him down, I think. Because, uh, I'm pretty sure I don't get past him in this video. I, or at least I don't get past the next guy in this video. I just get past him. Hold on. Okay, found it. Let's get this show on the road. Pretty sure we have enough time. We should have just enough time to get through there. Now let's watch as I actually do a better job at fighting him. Because I think this is like the fifth or sixth time I'm actually going at it with him. And I'm sorry about the lag. It's the computer being difficult. Um, not the best time for a super punch. Yeah, I actually almost interrupted there. It's just he stopped right as I did it. Because if you interrupt that, you basically stop his next attack. And sometimes he goes right into it, other times he doesn't. And, oh, I dodged the second hair attack, at least. Also, he has the exact same body type as, what's his name, the karate guy. He doesn't have the exact... I think. Yeah, he has like the exact same body type in terms of his facial reactions to being hit and such. But his attack, like his attack animations are different. And I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. But uh, he's almost dead, which is good. It's actually very good that he's almost dead because I want him to go down so I can actually get on with the next couple of videos. Oh, and I almost successfully dodged the hair attack. I just screwed it up by dodging left twice. Do I actually have to show off interrupting the... No, I don't think I get... Uh, I don't think I... Sh I get to show off... In no, I don't get to show off the interrupt. So, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.